Can Am hump. Some bad news. Ant City. Spike Peaks, guys. We have a problem. Kazuta Kazala, you know what I mean? That's terrible. Arctic Cat 500 ATV. It's a 2004. Today we're going to do an oil change on it. All right, my ATV's turn. Ordered a new battery because the battery keeps dying. Today's Sunday, tomorrow's Labor Day. We've got some rain clouds and uh, we just, uh, I don't know, need a break, I guess. We've just been so busy building that a lot of the maintenance on uh, other machines has kind of been neglected, I guess. Not because we didn't want to do it, just because we didn't have the time to do it. Richie's measuring the battery to make sure he buys the exact right size to fit in this box. It's got that number on it, so I'm hoping it's the same. Yep. Three and a quarter. Yep. Should fit. Okay. New battery on the way. I just found a little chunk of chaga. They call this the Can-Am hump. You sort of rock the machine back and forth to get it to go into gear because the gears are not lining up. And evidently, I did a little research and it's a thing try and see if we can fix it. This whole piece is cracked right there and that's our problem right there. Gonna get a new one. Rich and I got some bad news. What's the news, honey? They're not coming. Apparently one of the guys got hurt really bad and it's changing their entire schedule. So Richie had a friend here helping all morning. I'm going to help him right now. And uh, we're just going to keep plugging along and hope for the best. Yeah, I agree. The bottom. Like... Now that the guys aren't coming, Rich and Ken spent this morning mocking up a little piece of roof. And that's kind of what it's going to look like but we've got a really good idea on exactly how we're going to do the roof now. We're both uh, really disappointed. Yeah. Sometimes I get a little angry, Kathy, a little, a little bit grumpy. <laughs> you think? Every once in a while. <laughs> we all have our moments. I fixed the ladder. Right here. Where? It gets sketchy. All right, so I don't think my bucket. I think that's OSHA. To... I just got to stop the water from going right here. Oh! Oh, you're so lucky. I need that. It almost went in the hole. Ow! That's a pricker bush. Those things get everywhere. Please, God. Good. Oh, thank God. God Ooh, good reach.
I pick up a rock. And this is like Ant City. Wow, that hurt. Don't rub your hands on this tin. No, and that's 10. Smile, you're on candid camera. I'm trusting that it's our piece. That looks great. Looks like something. It look, definitely looks like something. Wow. Good morning, everyone. We're back at it. Good morning. Rich and Ken worked until dark last night getting the roof framing done on this front of the utility room on this side. And it's looking great. Gonna make some more pieces, piece by piece, Kathy. Nine and a half over here, Kathy. So 69 and a half and nine and a half. That's easy. I'm gonna go back and cut some wood. Our goal for Rich and I today is to try and get the rest of the roof framed all the way up to the peak. It's a long way up there, it really is. All right, well, we realize we have a problem. That one block for the roof is directly in line with that vent pipe that has, <laughs> that has to, to turn and go up through the roof, yeah. which isn't a problem, but the blocking is in the way. I'll notch it with a sawzall and we'll back it up with another one behind it. Another That's block. a good idea. It'll be fine. Every 24 inches on center. Richie bought these for my birthday in August and I just didn't get them opened yet. It's a pair of Sunnies, uh, Sunnies. It's a pair of Woody's sunglasses. He had bought me a pair in 2021. I still have them, they're destroyed. But, but this is the second pair I'm buying because I like them so much. They come with a little case. Ah, uh, yeah, they're nice. Perfect. Let me see. Oh, nice. Oh, brandy new. Nice and shiny. I just want you to know that from this perspective, it doesn't look good. <laughs> You're making something. I'm making something. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I was just up there on the roof. I'm going to take these two big giant 12 foot 2 by 4s I'm going to make myself something that can sit in the dirt and dig in a little bit at the base of the slope and I can rest my body in and climb up without sliding down like we did on the other side. Alright, Kathy is helping me come up with an improvement on my idea. We'll just basically build some kind of stairs. That's what we're doing. We got it done. He's trying to climb up there. Richie's just tightening it up. This is going to be great. I can't wait until uh, we have to lift it. The things we do to try and get people to watch our content. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, can you show us a thumbs up? Can we get some thumbs up when it really helps the channel? Come on. Uh, wait, I want to just look down real quick so they know where we're at here. We're up on a level. We're on the first tier. First tier. <laughs> we have to go to the second tier and then the, the third tier. Come on up and try how no, solid it is. I You're gonna love it. Thank, Thank you, you though. This is so good. You're welcome. I eyeballed it. <laughs> you did a great job. The the angle is pretty good, right? That's where you shine, Kat. Ah, uh, thanks, honey. We have a beautiful day today. However, tomorrow is looking like 100% chance of rain. So Rich is getting ready to get up on the roof and seal up anything that's left open here. Oh, look at all the water pouring out of that. At least we don't have to worry about water up there yeah. with all the rain that's coming tomorrow. It's actually sealed up better now than it ever was. It's true. down I, the vertigo stays with me for like yeah. 20 minutes so this side the concrete wall is set back just enough that we have to put the furring strip the t111 to make it even with the t111 here and then put the front piece on on this side the front piece went fine on the t111 but the concrete wall over here was out too far. So we did not need to put the T111 or anything on first. 
to keep it straight. So now on this side, the T111 is gonna come right up to the bottom, but on this side, we've gotta do it different. That's what we mean when we say each wall has to be designed differently. Right, honey? Every wall is different. Yeah, we got a little uh, Tazinta Gazala, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's terrible. So we realized we made a mistake by not checking how close the concrete was to the T111. And it's more like the other side than we actually thought it was. Everything's a learning curve. I'll just take this piece out and then we'll float this one to it. We have to float. We'll have to see. You know what I mean? Because we have wood here, so it's not that big of a deal. There's something to screw to here. Okay. Somebody's here. All right, we got a delivery. This is ant killer. We're gonna sprinkle it on the roof and all around the house to kill all those little ants. And it's in a nice little shaker bag. So you hold it upside down, you open it, hold it upside down and shake it around the perimeter of your house. But we're also gonna go around the perimeter of all our parapet walls as well. Had great reviews on Amazon. So hopefully it'll work good. Well, he took the one piece down and uh, we'll have to uh, figure out how we're gonna do it now. We figure it out as we go, Kat. I know, but that I don't like when we do it that way all I the hate, time. I you know, wasting time and things happen. You know, it looked right to me. And then when I started looking at it again, it was not right. And now we have to go back to work and uh, figure out what comes next. We do have somebody else coming on Sunday to take a look at the front porch for us and possibly help us figure out the back porch. They don't know how much time they have to do it, but they're gonna stop by and um, we'll take one day at a time. We're tired, we're back to work, and we're still plugging along. I'm Kathy. And I'm Rich. And we're creating a simpler life in the Adirondacks. But simple does not mean easy. It definitely does not. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. And we finished it in the rain, of course. That's gonna be great.